Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do The Punisher issue number 49 by Marvel Comics. Yes, another great 90s cover. Uh, I mean, 90s comic, but also, of course, a 90s cover. Uh, yeah, let's dive in. This is a great one. Um, so, we are here and we see The Punisher walking into the woods. Because this is somewhere in the western of Pennsylvania. And uh, why is he here? Well, normally this is a place where you can... You know, hunt, but the Punisher is hunting as well. Uh, it seems that Mrs. Carla Summersville of the Summersville department store chain family has been kidnapped. And somebody figured out that she is worth two million bucks retail. Um, so the FBI has been, you know, tried to find her, but they cannot, you know, have any lead on her. Uh, but, you know, the Punisher says, I'm better at this game than they are. Um, it's a job. To me, it's war. Um, yeah, great. And by the way, look at this, man. So cool. So it's been made by uh, Chuck Dixon. That's the story. Um, I mean, the story is made by Chuck Dixon. I mean, art by Todd Fox. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, by uh, Ron Wagner. And wait a minute. Ron Wagner and the letterist Chris Eliopoulos. I heard that name and I saw, I mean, I saw that name many, many times. Where do I know him from? I have to look that up. Um, anyway, he is here. And um, so he's listening inside. He uses his, his, his equipment, this microphone. And he figured out there's a couple of maybe five guys in it. Um, so he's wait. He's, uh, he's biding his time uh, to, to make a move. And... Um, then he says, um, hey, it's going to be a long wait. I should have bought a heavier parka. At least the G3 was a good choice. No plastic moving parts to freeze. Um, so there's a couple of guys. Two of them are, you know, or three of them taking a car. they going somewhere. We're we'll coming back to that a little bit later. Um, so what does the Punisher do? He says, well, there's only a couple of guys in it. I can take him. So he barges in. Um, but then... Um, yeah, he figured out that a couple of guys were actually sleeping that didn't make a noise. So there's a, here in total uh, nine guys. And he says, we must be in recession. These guys are willing to put two million bucks nine ways. Um, yeah, so he has a surprise. But he says, hey, uh, give me the woman. He says, um, I just want the lady. The rest of you keep your hands in sights. Come on, Mr. Summersville, you're going home. And... Uh, these guys are just looking at her. You know, they see about two million bucks walking away. But she's a little bit too hasty and she bumps into the Punisher. And then, uh, yeah, they see that and they're going to shoot at him immediately after they saw the mistake. And I really love this panel because normally if there is a shootout somewhere, you see all these guys shooting at each other or killing each other. But you only see now, and I mean visually in my head, they are shooting at him. Um, and you see all the lights, this lighting and, and all these bullets flying, although you don't see it in my head. I can feel it. I can hear the noises. I can hear the shouting and the screaming and whatnot. Uh, great, great composition. Great panel here. I love it. Um, meanwhile, the other three are here and there's a plane here. And this is, I believe, the, um, the husband of the, of the kidnapped wife. And then this guy says, hey... Um, why don't you throw me the two million here? So they, they, he do it, and then uh, we let your wife go, right? Um, yeah. But then the Punisher says to um, Mrs. Somerville, he says, listen up, this is important. When I say run, you take off that gravel path. I have a car hidden in there. You wait at the car, and I make my way up there. Run! And then he throws, he, uh, fro <laughs> throws a grenade, and this guy says, uh-oh. And damn, it looks so cool. Why aren't people making comics like this anymore? And I mean, Marvel and DC. Well, I know why they don't. Because they suck, in my opinion, of course. Um, <laughs> I can't, I probably can't go on for an hour while Marvel and DC is sucking so bad. And they, they don't do this anymore because, well, it's toxic and blah, and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Um, but then the other ones come back and the Punisher has, uh, you know, made a mistake and they, he didn't know that they come back so soon and they shoot at him and he's getting clipped. Again, looks so cool. And then he is at the edge of the, uh, well, 
the, the path or the road. And he says, smart girl, she's bringing the car to me. But uh, 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 no way. <laughs> she's panicking. She wants to get out of here. And she is leaving to his doom. Um, but he respects that. He says, the woman is a survivor. I can respect that. So the other guys are going to, you know, hunting him, if you will. And they are looking for, uh, you know, for his um, footsteps. And then they hear a sound. And then he got our Jeep and a ransom. <laughs> yeah, smart. Again, Punish is so cool. But um, all is not over yet because he's smiling. And he says, like I said, you ain't going to get far. And then I also, there's a great narrative because Punisher doesn't, uh, almost doesn't speak in this comic. It's all just narrative, you know, from his perspective and his thoughts. He says, um, pain's coming now. That'll help. It'll keep me from passing out, keeping my mind sharp. Engine's quitting on me. No gas. Power steering gone. Power brakes gone. Then the road is gone. Awesome. What a great writing piece, man. This is so cool. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just really like the flow. It's, it's very fast paced. It's, it's uh, exciting to read, but it's so exciting to look at. Um, so he crashes. The other ones come and they found no one in the car, but he's bleeding a lot. And, uh, but he's, uh, biding his time and, uh, and he goes, well, of course the opposite way. And he wants to use the, you know, getting the advantage that they are all split up. You know, there's a couple of guys at home or well at the, the cabin. Uh, they are probably coming now and this, these three are hunting him. So uh, he decides to go into this, I don't know, draining pipe or whatever it is. And um, so they go in there and this guy says, Haha, a couple of sticks to post to slow me up. And then another grenade. <laughs> Skipping a few pages. <laughs> well, not few. He spits him out because of the explosion. And look at all the smoke from this corpse. Just great stuff. I love it. Also, this one is looking real cool. So if, if you can blow it up, real cool. It really sends a dread and hopelessness. But this is the Punisher we're talking about. He says, snowing heavier now. That's good. Cover my tracks. Wind picking up. Temperatures dropping. Just fine. Freezing will stop the bleeding. Getting tired. No problem. Need to sleep anyway. Man, he's such a badass. I love that guy. Uh, so, um, so the other ones are, uh, well, there's a storm now coming, or there is already there. And uh, the other one, you know, comes back and he says, uh, he, he blew up Luke to bits. Fuck that. Let's get, af let's get after him. Uh, how? Look at this weather. Why, why not wait until first light? So I believe the leader of this gang, I'm not sure what his name is. It's not really important. Uh, he says, because Mrs. Summerswell is going for the state police, because this clown has two million of our cash, because if the snow covers him, nobody will find him until next spring. And I got three more reasons or 15 more reasons uh, here if, you, if the other three weren't good enough for you. Okay, okay, Henning. So that's his name. He finished it tonight. And then we see a small glow here. The Punisher thinks then, wind picks up, blow and blow the smoke away. Lots of paper to start the fire with. Um, it's my lucky day, all right? So then I thought, what, what do you mean paper? I forgot these are paper, paper bills. So <laughs> he's burning money. But he realizes that the money is not doing good. Too much blood loss, never get warm. But uh, the next day when everything is calm, he gets out, but um, he's still weak. He's, he feels lightheaded, he feels weak, L lots, lost a lot of bloods. No pretty nurse with donuts in sight. Um, yeah, cool. So he's moving and he keep moving, but the other ones are, you know, finding his tracks and um, find a way to where, uh, the place where he is sleeping. And then he says, he started a fire without cash from the rappers, from the rap, rappers, rappers, rappers. Uh, looks like he used about 50 grand for kindling. Shit. Who is this guy? He's not a fed nor a steady. He's out here alone. And uh, so they tell this guy that... Um, that the Punisher burned 15k or uh, 50k, but he's pissed off and he says, This creep is mine. And he says, Meglin, hold up, don't go. But uh, yeah, Meglin is um, not listening. So he <laughs> he goes after him, follow his tracks, and well, he, yeah, blood here, he's a dead man. 
and he's just lowered his head. Um, Don't you like how free goes into two million? Yeah, that's his reasoning. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this guy's a goner. So they are. Um, so we, the Punisher, has a. Uh, the, uh, he f thinks that he has the advantage, and he's uh, you know smiling and uh, uh, singing, but uh, he didn't take notice of all the noise that's behind him. So he runs away, and then he falls into this frozen lake. Lost his gun, and then uh, this guy. With, with a lot of speed, comes to him. I got him. He's in the open. And Punisher says, screwed up totally. No cover in any direction. The ice groans and hisses. Running water never freezes solid. Way below freezing temperature, but never frozen. Can't swim when it's that cold. Body stops listening to the brain. Muscles seize all up. Your heart stops from the shock. That's all she wrote. Man, this is so epic. And I don't want to go out like that. Man, the sheer panic if you are under the ice and you can't get any air. Oh, man, must be must be terrifying. Um, but, you know, all of that's what's happening with the, the ice is now snapping and it shifts. So he falls down. He just tried to, you know, move his weight just so, so that he doesn't fall off. But there's a waterfall uh, also a little bit further. And then all these guys are, you know, try to run into catching up to the Punisher. Um, but yeah, he's screwed because he cannot feel his legs. He cannot feel his wound anymore either. And then this guy comes, says, this, this leader guy, he says, this guy's pathetic. Doesn't know when to give up. So Punisher tried to shoot it, but his hands are too cold and he cannot, you know, use his grip anymore. And he laughs at him. Um, it's over, tough guy. Toss the money this way. Toss the money and we pull you out of there. Take you somewhere warm. Um, we both know he's lying, says the Punisher in his head. That's it, hero. Just a little bit more. Little bit more. Got it. Now you've got to go somewhere, play, someplace warm, hero. Just like I... And then... <laughs> it's not over. Yeah, because the money is about 17 pounds, according to the Punishers, that shift the balance and weight. So they fall into the ice. He grabs the um, the trunk, tries to pull himself out of there, which happens and these guys are freezing and they are, yeah, they are dead. <laughs> Great stuff. And um, um, then the narrative goes, there goes the ransom. Two mil would have helped, uh, helped my war fund. Now, mo now nobody uh, gets to spend it. Not the kidnappers, not Summersville. His wife's alive. That should mean more. I would have have paid anything for my family's lives. I pay for their deaths every day. And then he drives away in the snowmobile. What an awesome, freaking cool comic. Jesus Christ. This is top writing, top notch. Great art. Fast paced. Love it. It's all just nice content. This could be a movie, right? If you're going to stretch it out to, I don't know, 90 minutes, maybe two hours. I would have loved some, seeing stuff like that with a Punisher in it. Great stuff. Oh, man. Um, too bad we don't have much of these comics anymore nowadays. Anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.